What's up guys? Welcome back to Fish Over Tricks Woodworking. My name is Peter and today I am in a different shop actually. If you've been a follower for a while, you know this is not my normal shop. We are actually in John's shop today doing a few projects. So today's video is about making a wooden mallet. So let's just get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do for this project is pick out your wood. So we're going to use some walnut and maple to make this mallet. Uh, most of it's going to be maple, but we are going to use some walnut as some accents um, in the middle of the mallet. But uh, yeah, the majority of it will be maple. Most of this is scrap wood, or if not scrap, it's just smaller pieces of uh, the walnut and maple that we had lying around. Not trying to make a super expensive mallet here, just something nice with uh, a little bit of wood. So let's start cutting the pieces we need. So I've got this piece of walnut here. Um, it's about an inch thick, and we've marked down six inches here. So we're gonna take this over to the miter saw. We're gonna get this cut up at six inches, and then we're gonna take it to the table saw, and we're gonna cut it down to three inches. So the final dimension of this board will be one inch thick, six inches long, and three inches wide. And we are also going to do that with the maple, but we're gonna need two of those pieces. So just two pieces that are about an inch thick, six inches long, and three inches wide. All right, so we've got our three pieces here cut to six inches in length. Uh, what we're gonna do now is put a 10 degree uh, angle on both sides, and what that's gonna do is make a little trapezoid, uh, but we still want the top from here to here to be six inches, so that's why we're gonna start the cut here, and the angle's gonna end down there. And of course, if it's off a little bit, doesn't really matter, but uh, you'll see what I mean. So we've got these three pieces cut with the 10 degree angles on both sides. So now what we're gonna do is go to the table saw and we're gonna cut three inches. Uh, so basically this part over here is just gonna be scrap. Um, and then after that, we will be cutting this down a little bit. We'll be cutting this uh, in half and you'll see what I mean by that once we get to that step. But next we're gonna go over to the table saw. So the head of your mallet's gonna look pretty much like this. Obviously there needs to be a space for the handle. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take this piece of walnut back over to the miter saw and we're gonna cut the middle out of it basically. So this one piece uh, is just gonna become two smaller pieces. We're just gonna cut it at zero degrees just like a regular miter cut um, and we're gonna make these two smaller. It doesn't have to be perfect. So the thickness of your handle has to be the same as this middle piece for the way we're making this mallet uh, which is basically the easiest way to do it. So this is an inch thick. So the handle is going to be an inch thick but we can play around and make it a little bit wider. So we're gonna cut this handle to uh, keep it at an inch thick, but we're gonna make it an inch and a half wide, and then we're gonna have it be 13 inches long. So that way, once it's all up inside of the mallet, you'll lose three inches, what this is, and the actual handle will be 10 inches. So now we've got the handle cut, uh, like I said, 13 inches long, one and a half inches wide, and uh, one inch thick. Then you've got all three of those pieces over here. So basically what I'm gonna do is uh, take this handle, take the piece of walnut, line it up just about in the middle, just like that. Then just mark it with a pencil. Now I know those lines right there in the middle, that's what I'm gonna cut out. I'm gonna cut a little bit less out than that, just so we have a little bit extra to play with. So we're gonna take this over to the miter saw, get that cut out, and then we'll go ahead and start assembling. All right guys, so we have all of the pieces cut. We've got the two maple, we've got now the two walnut and the handle. So we're gonna do a dry run, just kind of put together to show you what it's gonna look like. Start with your maple, down there. Walnut, walnut, and then as you see, you've got that gap there in the middle, which this piece will go into, and then you've got this one up there, and there you go. Perfect, that's what your mallet's gonna look like. Great job, guys. 
We did it. We made the mallet. I think it looks great. Really like how we went with the old gray stain at the end. I'm really happy with it. So, yeah, and I mean, it, it works. It hits things. See? Great. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to make a mallet just like this, um, please like, comment, subscribe. Head over to Ace. It only costs about, you know, $10. That is what your mallet will look like once it's all glued together. So, let's go ahead and glue it. The first thing we want to do is find the middle of this piece, which is your bottom piece, because you want to make sure that this piece of maple, which is your handle, is going to be perfectly in the middle of that. Here's what we'll do. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Alright guys, so here it is. Looking great so far. Um, it's pretty much done. We're just going to give it a nice coat of uh, Danish oil. We went ahead with the chamfer bit. Chamfer? Chamfer? Whatever however you say it. Um, and we just ran around the, all of the handle as well as uh, both sides of the actual head. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's good. You can hit stuff. It's great. I don't know. Let's sand it. Or let, we already sanded it. Let's stain it. We're staining it. Stain. This is sick. Alright guys, we're taking a quick break because uh, we are editing the video right now that you're watching. John's editing it, I'm just watching him. But we decided to come on here real quick and let you know who won the 5,000 subscriber giveaway challenge. Um, so the comment is on here on the screen. Buddy, congratulations for winning. We'll be contacting you in the comments. But everyone else, thank you for your comments. Um, thank you all for watching. We really appreciate all the support. And there'll be a 10,000 subscriber giveaway coming up very soon because we're almost at 7K. So again, Thank you guys so much for the support. We cannot we cannot tell you how excited we are that the channel is doing this well. But uh, back to the video. What's up, guys? Let's welcome back to me trying to open some shit. How do you do this? Alright guys, that's going to do it for the video. The finished product came out really nice. Super happy with it and I'll definitely definitely be bringing this home and uh, using it in my shop. John, thank you for letting me take this home. I know it's your wood and it's your shop. I will be stealing this. So thank you for that. Guys, if you like... I was close. Alright guys, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below if you're actually going to make this because uh, I this is never something I thought I would make. But, uh, yeah, today we are like, let's make a mallet. We could definitely use it. So, uh, yeah, there it is. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Guys, if you like that video and you want to see me make four different projects out of just one 2x4, click right here for that video.